Hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what's the important message for you guys this week. Okay, collective energy. Important message for collective this week. Thank you. Let's let's look at the overall energy for collective. We have two cards. Okay, what is this? Look at the picture. Right away when I see this, it reminds me of the view of fortune. So again, the when we see the real fortune, things start to moving, right? I feel like for some of you guys, um things were a little bit um kind of you know like a deep water because i feel like with the scorpio season it's kind of like it it's kind of forcing us to go deeper and sometimes it kind of drain you it kind of feel a little bit overwhelming and for some of you guys this is like coming out of that energy and more toward like oh being to being toward feeling more energized or you know coming out of that deep water you know of emotion of self reflection and also um, it just it just talk about how interesting wow i just saw it you see this like a feet to feet there so they talk about being grounded as well keep your feet on the ground because i'm i'm getting something to do with with the Sagittarius season, with the arrow point, pointing up, right? I'm just getting that it's gonna go quite fast. So something slow going toward faster energy as well. So be, I'm just getting like be prepared to take off. Be prepared like I, I'm seeing the plane. Is it like a symbol in a way? And then we have the mushroom. It looks so cute. Well, when I get from here, it's like, look, the, there's a season that you are planting your seed, you know, you're resting, rejuvenating, and the season is coming out of it as well. So sometimes, again, there's a time for everything. Just because something didn't happen right away or when you expect it, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. As long as you plant your seed, knowing that eventually you will see that, you know what I mean? It will come to come to fruition, basically steady progress yeah pushing toward pushing forward beautiful beautiful energy it's really it's really like the energy represent the sagittarius season of you know fire energy pushing things forward you have more energy to to get things done or just yeah just uh, the fire energy is more like passion inspiration action Let's see, important message for our beautiful collective. Important message for collective. Let's see. Wow, really interesting. We have two of swords, the devil card and the strength card. Some of you guys, you are at a crossroad, okay? You are in between. I'm just getting like in between the old life and a new life. And it's required you to step outside of your comfort zone. It's required you to face your fear. Because I feel like on the other side of your fear, it's like it's a whole totally new life. It could be that you have to make a decision regarding to your career, uh, family relationship whatever that is res resonate with you i feel like it's t this time has come for you to take action but again think thing through of course you know we have to plan we have to think about you know the consequences and you know if you take this action what would be the outcome of it but it's about not taking too long in in the the in the sense of doubting and just like never fully take any action right because the Sagittarius season is about taking action like take a leap of faith you know what i mean that's why we have the devil energy come after the devil energy talking about anything in extreme 
So sometimes we try to cope with things. You know how like people don't know how to. Um, it's kind of like we we try to fill the void, the something inside of us, with external things. So people have addiction, right? Drinking addiction, sex addiction, drug, shopping, eating addiction. This can be so many things. That in extreme that try to distract us from going within, from real realizing our true power. You know that we all have everything we need within us, but we really this is about going within, going within and realize that anything outside of you doesn't make you happy. It doesn't fulfill you. You know it's it's outside of you. You already have the answer within. Is about being quiet enough. It's about being able to observe your thoughts, your emotion, and realizing that thoughts come and go. Right? They're like a visitor. They comes and go. You being able to observe it, and don't let anything that take away your power to you know keep you in that vibration. You know you deserve to be in your full power. You know take your power back. That's definitely for what I'm getting. That's why we have the strength card back here. You know, this is talk about being compassionate toward yourself, so you can be more kind to other people. But it's come with, it come from you first, right? Um, and it's, it's really interesting because humans are really interesting if you think about it. It's so easy to be nice to other people, but it's so hard to be nice toward ourselves, especially our inner voice, right? We can be really critical, like really, we can be really hard on ourselves. Don't give. Sometimes we don't even give ourselves enough credit. And this is about learning to see that, learning to like, wow, I actually learning to appreciate yourself, learning to so give yourself credit, and that's gonna help you with the anything in life that are have this toxic energy, you know, that type of addiction or something that we try to fulfill the void within us. Anything apart from self love is is addiction, isn't it? What we do in but it's like. And it's self love is not like egotistics, being like selfish and stuff like that. Self love is learning to take care of your body, learning to take care of what you put in your mind, in your body. And once you take better care of yourself, you you be able to, to see things, can you know come into fruition because it's it's you manifest everything in your life is reflection of the conditioning, conditioning, condition, that you have within you so if you self-conditioning like oh you know the relationship is I'm, I'm never gonna have good relationship in life or there's gonna be drama or i can't ever fulfill my dream and go then if you keep doing that plan just see then it's coming out in tr fruition right because we are creating our own reality so this is about being mindful of what you put in in your heart in your mind what you you know what you feeling as well like focus on feeling the scent you know inner strength that's what i'm that's definitely what i'm getting from here and break free from whatever holding you back again the it's it's about um taking an action taking a leap you've done enough thinking you know but not enough action so for some it's about something holding you back this is the holding back energy so fear, anxiety, stress, if you think about it, if you look deep in him, you realize, oh, that is telling me what actually holding me back. So you can overcome that things, develop your inner strength, take action. Right? The only person stopping out self back is us, isn't it? So let's see. Let's see the Oracle advice for our beautiful collector. For some of you guys, I'm I'm so proud of you guys. You have done, you have worked with your shadow self. You're realizing that shadow self, it's created in your mind. If you realize your shadow is illusion, then you're like, wow, I don't need to identify myself with that illusion anymore. You know what I mean? It's not about, when whatever you put after I am is so powerful. So don't put anything after I am that you don't want to manifest in your life, right? Learning to see that and then, oh. I catch myself, you know, even though it feels a bit funny, if, if I say like, if you always said, I am lazy, but I'm like, oh, I am productive. I am taking action toward my dreams and all that stuff. Like try to change the way you say to yourself, even say it out loud. See how things manifest to you. That's why the wheel is here. Slow and steady. I'm, this is, 
and definitely see progression. Let's see. Ooh, so many cards coming out. How many? We have four. We have five. Wow. You know what? We, I'm going to take it because it's meant to come out. Wow, look at that. Look at the picture. I don't even have to say anything. You got a breaking free from that chain, from anything that's holding you back. Definitely. Energy, energetically, spiritually. And then this is a confirmation for you guys that you're going through transformation, transition, right? The, the, the butterfly, it's time to fly. Embrace this new change. Embrace this new reality. Embrace this new life, new you right hopeless or helpless is a matter of your perspective you can look at the same thing as the person next to you and can see totally different things isn't it isn't it amazing learn to go with the flow mm -hmm. i see the wheel for june again as well be like a water like know that you are free you are free to flow you're free to get the information spiritual download and you realize that when you don't resist when you don't resist life, when you don't resist the universe, in your in, when you don't resist your intuition and you flow with it. Take action with flow, <laughs> you know, be in the flow I'm seeing. Be in the flow and do, you lose track of time. Do more of things that make you be in the flow, right? Like some people, it's just maybe dancing, writing, singing, drawing, whatever that is that make you feel like in the flow. For me, playing with animal <laughs> for example or reading books as well or talking i love that <laughs> okay i'm so proud of you guys embrace it you i love you all so much i'll talk to you soon love and light